Okay, I had a viewer request for a single 20 foot container micro barn or hobby barn barn, small barn to accommodate uh, chickens, rabbits, and a couple of goats. So, single 20 foot container is something I wouldn't normally do, but. Uh, this one here is a viewer request, so I decided to try at it, or take a stab at it. With such a small space, I wanted the roof to be overhung. To make it seem like a bigger building, or to accommodate, uh, to accommodate more animals, or whatever. So you'll notice the roof overhangs another 8 feet. So the roof is actually uh, wide enough for two containers, but this concept only utilizes one container. There's storage on this end here, which is lockable, closable storage. It's only four feet deep, the storage section on this end. Once again, it's just a single 20 foot container, eight and a half feet tall. You'll notice on this end, the chickens have their own entrance and exit, they have their own chicken door. I'm not sure if this is entirely necessary or not, but I made a hole 16 inches. 16 inches square. In the front entrance here, you can see there's animals inside, critters. The viewer requested to accommodate some rabbits, some chickens, and possibly one or two goats. So I've tried my best to include stuff like that, accommodations like that in such a small space. Rabbits have their own little four foot by four foot cube cage, along with a couple of uh, nesting boxes. And there's quite a bit of ceiling room, so you could probably put cabinets above them, or even another another cage above that, even. other side is uh, chickens and you can walk into the chicken coop. There's a large door, three foot by seven foot door, so you can stand up and walk into the chicken coop to collect eggs and to clean. For cleaning and collecting.
I've added a simple cube cabinet, IKEA style cube cabinet, where they can lay eggs or roost. This is just a concept that I could come up with off the top of my head. I don't do 20 foot containers, small containers, and I'm not very good at burn animals either. <laughs> But I tried my best here to accommodate, include, uh, include what I can or what I was requested to include. Now the container is 8 feet by 20 feet. But the front, uh, the front veranda or that's covered with the roof. It's also 8 feet by 20 feet. So, there's quite a bit of room out front there as well. And there could be pens under that roof if you wanted to cage, have more cages or more pens. This storage section in the back uh, is completely separate from the inside, so you cannot access the storage from the inside. And that's about it for the virtual tour. It's pretty small, and there's not a whole lot to show on the inside. one room on the inside so let's go ahead and look at the floor plan and I will show you the space from above with the roof cut out Well, this is the basic floor plan. Uh, there's a main open entrance spot here inside, and the goat is where the goats are. Rabbits are here. The cabinet here for storage and stuff. Chickens are over here in this area. There's a external storage area here like a storage shed built in the back and this is the veranda or the part that's covered by the extra roof over here I believe uh, you could accommodate more animals out here since there's a roof over top you could probably divide this into more more spaces But that's just my take on a 20 foot micro barn for a small farm or a hobby farm. And this was a viewer request by Dombois Homestead. They have a YouTube channel as well and they do homesteading, permaculture type of stuff and I will include a link to his channel in the description. And that's gonna be it for this one.